Hello chess friends and welcome to Zard of Chess channel and welcome to a spectacular game that I prepared for you today. We have here Kaisa versus Stockfish 15 in a beautiful French defense game. But the cool part is that we'll see again the Stockfish engine battling it out uh, with the black pieces. Because I think we're searching more and more for these games uh, that are played by Stockfish with the black pieces. Because probably we're all bothered a little bit with our opening repertoire with the black pieces. We're searching for opportunities. What's a good opening against E4? What's a good opening against D4, what's a good opening against C4. So I think uh, it's always there's always room for improvement when it comes to opening theory. So here Stoffish, I think, played really an outstanding and really a beautiful tactical game in the French defense, which I think you can really use as your cornerstone, as your base, uh, in order to get a better understanding of what's going on in the French defense. And here Stoffish really played a brilliant, brilliant chess. So, in my opinion, really a beautiful game worth the study in this very, very tricky opening. So let's see now the game Kaisa versus Stoffish. Stockfish 15 in a beautiful French here. Kaisa opened with the move e4. Uh, Stockfish goes now into the French with the move e6. After d4, d5, we have now the move knight to c3 by Kaisa, which is now the so called pulse variation. And after move knight to f6, this becomes now uh, the classical variation. And after move e5, knight to d7, we have now the Steinitz variation. And you see now uh, the ball, pawn structure is already blocked out in the center of the board. Whenever that happens, we already know where to attack because the pawn chain is showing us the direction direction of the attack which means white is going to coordinate the attack towards the king side black on the other hand will coordinate uh, the attack towards the queen side in the continuation f4 the normal plan of uh, whites as i said coordinating the attack on the king side the f5 goal is now i think uh, the most important strategic concepts of white now now of course black does the same but of course on the other side hits the uh, center with the move c5 knight to f3 and you see now knight to c6 so it's now really uh, sort of a double edged opening line where both uh, uh, board engines are attacking of course uh, both of their sides so in the continuation uh, after knight to c6 bishop to e3 a6 preparing of course the move b5 queen to d2 preparing now also queenside casting and now after move v5 uh, h4 immediately also by kaisa so you see white it's not waiting here white is also here playing aggressively on the king side so it's becoming now more and more really a tense position where you basically uh, should even stay a little bit maybe longer with your king in the center because the center is the only place that i feel secure here because in the center probably nothing is going to happen so if you cast even bishop with bishop to e7 if you castle too early maybe on the king side then you could get destroyed with f5 g4 f5 ideas h5 uh, hx and similar stuff and all also, if white uh, castles a little bit too early now uh, on the queen side, then white could get destroyed maybe with knight to b6, b4, maybe even c4, I don't know, a5, a4 idea. So uh, this is now really, really sort of a, a really double-edged opening line. Basically, what you should do here, I think, is a little bit wait, wait your opponent maybe first to castle and then you could be really on the attacking side. So here, uh, bishop to e7 played by Stockfish, h4, uh, h5 here also by Kaisa, bishop to b7, and after knight to e2, here you see white is preparing even to reroute the knight on g3 and as i said the main strategic goal is now the f5 breakthrough so basically what black is a part of white is hoping for is maybe that black castles and now i think uh, after knight to uh, maybe uh, g4 f5 knight to g3 this could be already already a dangerous game so that's why after knight to e2 stockfish is saying I will not run into your attack. I'll stay a little bit longer here with the king in the center. I will just attack my queen side where I'm a little bit better. So notice both engines are staying a little bit longer with the king in the center. So we have now the move g4, a5. And now after move bishop to h3, this becomes now already, already a tricky position. Because many of us, I think, would even play the move f5. But um, notice this move f5 is not working immediately. Because look at this when you play f5 you have lost your protection of the pawn on e5 and there is now a brilliant tactical shot that a black can always play knight to e5 liberates the long diagonal now if you pick up the knight d takes e5 look at this with d4 uh, notice there is simply this beautiful attack uh, on the light course is the discovered attack the bishop is also hanging so it's simply not working if of course you would have your pawn on f4 then knight on e5 is not working because we would pick it up with the f pawn so it's a little bit different so that's why this 
opening idea that uh, Stockfish is playing here is preventing this aggressive method of f5. I think we should really solve now this position after move f5 because it's very important to notice that this is not a possibility here for white immediately. So that's why bishop to h3 uh, played by uh, this uh, Kaisa engine in the continuation h6 stopping it lit at least for a while maybe this g5 breakthrough but g5 was played anyway here by kaisa and now stockfish is saying and i will accept the challenge i will still not castle the king side okay i will take it out but now maybe with queen to b6 i will even castle maybe queen side maybe i'll get out of your attack because if again f takes g5 happens then i think we have the same tactical shots again uh, with knight to e5 with d takes e5 and again d4 so this is the tactic that's always working when you're leaving uh, here the protection of uh the e5 pawn so that's why f of h takes g5 here the kaisa engine castle queen side now and now stockfish is saying okay now you're there now i rerouted all of my pieces still there is no tension around the square f5 now i have many pieces and now the serious threat is of course the beautiful knight to c4 the fork against the bishop and and the queen so if you play now b3 in order to prevent it and i think here black is already taking over if you play b3 immediately then c4 is very very dangerous i think for um for uh, white to handle in some occasions if we as i said get too much pressure here on the king side we will play queen to d7 or with queen to c7 and castle out of the attack but with this beautiful c4 move i think we are already there from black's perspective we have really a great attack now especially because of the fact that also these two knights are supporting the attack and also in some occasions i think a4 is a possibility just continue the pressure so that's why uh, with the move b3 that white would play you already weakened your uh, pawn structure in front of the king so that's i think the downside about this move so that's why after move knight to b6 uh, that uh, stockfish played the kaisa engine played now knight to g5 which really makes sense in some occasions there are maybe some tactics like bishop to e6 knight to e6 maybe knight to uh, g7 similar stuff but stockfish is not allowing that plays now this very aggressive move knight to c4 the queen has to step back now to d3 and now comes a brilliant move by stockfish b3 this is the way they go really really wild stuff look what happens for instance if you play here uh, a takes b3 if that happens then we have this turner knight to b4 is actually trapping the queen because if you play now queen to c3 there's simply no other square of course you get the beautiful fork on a2 so if you play here queen to b3 the problem i think is also here this line bishop to a6 and rook to b8 i think uh, are winning the game here for uh, black for sure also the knight is lined up here on the long diagonal on the light square diagonal the b2 square is weak so if we get our rook to b8 uh, of course the queen is in danger then you could lose the tactical battle already so as i said after move b3 that um, stockfish played here kaisa took with the c pawn c takes b3 but now again a similar tactic happens a knight to b4 forces the queen to got uh, to get to b1 and now comes of course bishop to g5 we're undermining the pressure because as i said in many occasions bishop to e6 um, knight to e6 are working then the queen is coming to g6 if you pick up here the pawn so kaisa stayed very active with the queen now but stockfish is not allowing any kind of tactics after move bishop to g5 also still uh, the bishop is hanging on e3 so this is simply not working so that's why after b takes c4 that has to be played now by kaisa stockfish plays now uh d takes c4 f takes g5 and okay stockfish sacrificed uh now one piece but stockfish has now a beautiful activity after of course bishop to h1 and uh this is now a much much better continuation after rook to h1 okay still kaisa has two minor pieces for the rook but actually this is not working because after c takes d4 the knight uh the bishop is hanging pardon me after knight to d4 queen to d5 here played by stockfish attacking now the rook on h1 king to uh, d2 now played by kaisa connecting uh here the piece to the um uh, pardon me the rook to the queen even if you play something like i don't know the rook to uh, rook to uh, d1 then of course queen to e5 is very dangerous the bishop is hanging knight to d3 is going to happen maybe rook to uh, rook to c8 c3 is also very dangerous the queen is cornered so i would really not love to play anymore this game from white's perspective so that's why king to d2 a strange idea but at least 
everything is glued together everything is compact and at least the bishop on e3 is also protecting the uh, knight on d4 so in the continuation rook to d8 of course played by stockfish stockfish is trying to now find new activities on the d file we have now bishop to e6 now comes this goal we're trying to spice up the game somehow by getting to queen maybe somehow uh here to uh, to the square g uh, g6 but now comes the brilliant tactical sequence by stockfish here again a beautiful c3 move c3 is forcing again a new reaction of of whites so you see basically um, stockfish is not allowing kaisa to back get back into the game with some really wild tactical ideas with the move c3 again white has to make now a reaction if you play now something like um f takes e6 here from uh uh black's perspective and instead of this move c3 then of course maybe queen to g6 could be dangerous still this is protectable but of course you don't want to risk anything in these types of positions that's why c3 really really a brilliant move after move king to c3 now we have queen to c5 the uh, queen is coming into the game the king has to step back here to b3 and now again a new brilliant move a4 here by stockfish so stockfish is just sacrificing the pawns but just in order to liberate diagonals to liberate the files in front of the king in the continuation we have now king takes e uh, a4 and now a new beautiful move that i think many of us would miss a beautiful stunning knight to c2 because look at this what happens probably many of us would play the move rook to a8 but this move is actually a disaster this is a bad move for for black if you are forcing the attack now uh white will simply back to uh step back here to the square b3 now we can play uh, maybe something like this we're trying to get again open files against the king but actually after bishop to c4 white is defending the position you can maybe try a check but now we can pick up uh, the knight and after queen to c4 we can get again our king to security here on d2 and in my opinion this is nothing spectacular here for um, um for white uh, pardon me for black uh the king is secured and actually black's king now is simply in danger so that's why after move king to a4 as we said rook to a8 is not working here now the stunner comes knight to c2 force is really again a beautiful reaction and there is of course immediately a checkmate threat on b4 let's see possible continuations if you play now knight to um uh, c2 then of course now rook to a8 is working because now the knight is standing in the way of this potential escape route uh for the king really really wild stuff how stockfish is playing the game now we play king to b3 rook to b8 again after a couple of checks you have this sequence after queen to a6 and the game is simply over the same thing happens if you play here queen to c2 instead of knight to c2 then again rook to a8 to check we play a new check and now with queen to b4 again it's a beautiful checkmate so that's why after knight to c2 you have to play actually a3 uh in order to prevent this checkmate on b4 now we play rook to d4 after bishop to d4 knight to d4 and still you see this bishop is endangered bishop to f7 is not working because we'll simply play king to e7 no more checks are possible and in the next move you get rook to a8 for sure so that's why <coughs> pardon me after move knight to d4 queen to d3 was played by uh, stockfish and after move kingside castling here and queen to a6 actually in this position kaisa resigned so stockfish played the last move castling kingside finally castling where uh, kaisa wanted uh, black to castle in the first place in the beginning sequence of this game but now after move queen to a6 it's simply game over we'll simply play queen to c2 we can of course also pick up the bishop whatever you do i think here it's all game over for white really really beautiful game uh, in the french defense really wild tactical sequences uh, especially the move b3 i think this was the crucial moment of this game look at this b3 opens the position as we said f after a takes b3 knight to b4 leads into a beautiful beautiful pattern so that's why c takes b3 but now again this tactic is working bishop to g5 getting rid of this very annoying knight the knight was very dangerous around the square e6 f7 so uh when we uh b takes c4 and as we said after d takes uh, c4 this long diagonal gets liberated the queen came into the game knight to d3 was always also very dangerous so beautiful beautiful tactical game here by stock for 15 so okay i hope that you enjoyed this game i really enjoyed it a lot interesting ideas of this blocked out pawn structure in the friends defense really immortal tactical sequences we have seen if you want to see 
more about the French defense, you can also check out my uh, French defense series with some important ideas for white and for black. Uh, I've created this separate playlist where you have really good studies about uh, the French defense. And if you want to see more beautiful Stockfish games like this and maybe some other top engine games, uh, check out my comments and chess games played by computer series. Here's also the link. And if you like this content, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you soon with some more videos and what to say. Chess is the best, of course.